guys <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm gonna be talking about scalp care this is very important healthy scalp healthy hair so this is gonna cover hair growth if you're experiencing hair loss or hair thinning I'm gonna be showing you what I do and what I use for my scalp care routine so as you can see my hair needs to be washed desperately my scalp was feeling so nasty I think I was on like day 10 here and typically I wash my hair every four to five days so I was stretching it here so I'm using this vibrating scalp massager and I am going to be linking every tool and product that I use so you guys can check them out scalp massagers are an essential tool for curly hair or any type of hair because they help stimulate the hair follicles to produce thicker hair and it also helps with hair growth especially this one because it vibrates and it just feels nice and relaxing on the scalp now i'm using some oil i don't know where i got this one from it was a sample and it doesn't have a name on it but it says hair growth and dry scalp which is what i have right now because during the winter time i get really really bad dry scalp and i like to let the oil sit and do their job and there are oils that are specifically great for the scalp and I'm gonna list them on the screen. They help moisturize and some of them also promote hair growth. I find that oils are also good for buildup. Buildup is so hard to get rid of and you do not want it sitting on your head because it will clog your hair follicles, which will slow down your growth and may be the reason why you're shedding a lot. So get you some oil. This will soften up that buildup and loosen it up so that when you wash your hair, you don't have to do all that hard scrubbing. So while the oil is sitting, I like to massage for about 10 to 20 minutes just to get the blood flowing. And I just find this so relaxing. And of course, I make sure to get my edges. I got to get those stimulated as well. I use the scalp massager at least three times a week on my wash day and sometimes at night before I go to sleep. And now I'm just covering my hair with a plastic cap so that the oils don't go anywhere and they don't get on my clothes. And I'm gonna let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes. And this is what I'm gonna wash my hair with. Bounce Curl is one of my favorite brands and this is their turmeric hair detox mask. This works great to help get rid of impurities such as dirt and environmental aggressors that may linger and get trapped in the pores you know you got to keep your scalp nice and clean and this is another great product this one is from eva nyc it's their deep tox exfoliating salt shampoo so besides using your regular shampoo you want to detox or clarify at least twice a month to keep your scalp healthy and balanced and this is the moment i had been waiting for i don't know how long i went but my scalp was feeling so dry and crusty and it just feels so refreshed now so clean and this is another great tool that i wanted to share with you guys it's called a shampoo brush or a scalp massager which is great to use in the shower with your shampoo to scrub or just as a massager and now moving on to styling i'm using this curl cream from curl organics and light cream gel from bounce curl these are my go-to stylers and don't forget to check out all of the products that I'm using. They're down in the description box. And I also wanted to take a moment to talk a little bit more about hair growth and hair thinning and shedding. But a quick disclaimer, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I don't treat or diagnose. So if you're experiencing any scalp issues and you've tried everything, please go see a specialist. But don't stress, don't panic stress is one of the main causes for hair loss hair thinning in most cases and you don't want none of that i do need to take my own advice because i freak out at anything any little change that i notice going on in my hair i freak out like if i start shedding more than usual i'd be like oh my god i'm gonna lose my entire hair no it's completely normal and we do go through seasonal shedding which we may notice that we shed a little bit more than usual, but it's completely normal. That just means that we're growing new hair. So take a look at your scalp and you're gonna notice 
all those new baby hairs growing is completely normal. And also, it's harder for us curly girls to notice hair growth because of our shrinkage. Like for me, some days my hair looks shorter, some days it looks the same, some days it looks longer. Well, if you feel like your hair isn't growing or it's stuck at the same length, simply take an old t-shirt, measure where your hair is at, and do this every month. Your hair should be growing at least half an inch. It may not be noticeable, but trust me, your hair is growing. Now, when applying your styling products, you want to get as close as you can to the roots, but avoid directly applying the product onto your scalp. This will cause buildup and you don't want that. You can use a brush for this. This will help you distribute the product evenly and it will also help give you definition. So another very, very important thing to keep in mind when it comes to our scalp and our hair health, diet is very important. We get our nutrients through our foods, so maintaining a balanced, healthy diet is key. So let's stay hydrated, take our vitamins, and just stay healthy, and we got this. So this was all for today's video. I hope I was able to cover most of the important points in scalp care. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video.